All right, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome to your bonus read for Tuesday. Let's see what is going on for Tuesday, okay? Ooh. If you were called into this connection here, okay? This is definitely, all right? Here, we'll put that right there. This is true love, okay? But, all right, someone, there's some sort of a third party here, okay? It could just be baggage that you are still carrying from the past or that they are still carrying. But it's, I feel like it's them because you are being guided here to stay optimistic, okay? To keep your heart open in a giving manner as you move into this energy with this person. Okay, so I want to look at, all right, you, hmm, that one wants to come down. We'll put it back here. Sorry. I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, we're going to look at you and your person. All right, so you, your person, okay. All right, so. You're very much in your head, okay, about this, even though, right, you're being very patient, okay, temperance. But you can see, if you look here at temperance, she's slowly putting her foot into that water. All right, so even though you are saying that you're patient with this person, there is a feeling of in, impatience here. Okay, you're struggling to keep the faith. And what you're trying to do is, you know, analyze everything, all right, to get to the heart of this new beginning with this person. Okay, so this person here, all right, there we have, that is that King of Wands. And if you look at their feet, okay, the one foot is very connected in the heart in the heart center and the other one is the cold foot okay so this person is back and forth on the connection if we look at the situation here okay in the center all right there is a decision that needs to be made here and it feels to be one of unity, okay? Because I don't feel like this person is actually keeping any secrets from you, but it doesn't change how you feel. It doesn't change the pain associated with knowing that this person, for whatever reason, is not quite ready to jump into this with you. That's, you know, it's, it's very hurtful here, okay? So I want to know more here, okay, I'm going to put these two back behind, right, a little bit, because I want to get to what the main energy was here. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords, okay, you want to know that this is solid, that what you're putting your time, effort, and love into is paying off, okay, crossed by the cosmos, paying off as this new beginning. Um, and you are channeling all of this energy into it, which has the overthinking. Okay, Ace of Wands, you want to create. You want movement forward, and you're really struggling with this. Okay, this person... They, their desire for everything to just be done, complete, finito, okay, could actually be slowing things down. Because with the accelerate energy here, okay, they are pushing back divine timing, not surrendering. It's crossed by the blue chakra, right? So this person could be not actually 
speaking what they need to say um, to you or this other person. And part of that's projection here, okay? I feel like this is your divine partner. And so as much as you are up in your head, so is this person. And so there's a projection here between the two of you about the fact that there are no secrets, I feel, which sort of comes through as being, well, then I have to look out for secrets. Okay, if there are no secrets, I have to look out for secrets. And that's definitely coming from old pain, old, sad, old, sad regrets, right? Like where your wishes didn't come true. Like where things were told to you that were supposed to be truthful, and yet they weren't truthful. I feel like this is very much coming through from childhood trauma okay let's go ahead and take a little look see here tell me about the blue chakra yeah there's that king of wands in reverse all right so this person pulling themselves out of the situation because they either don't feel stable enough, or it could be Queen of Pentacles here that uh, that's the past energy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. There was the secrets. Okay, whoever this X is, there were the secrets. Okay, and so there's this feeling here can I believe what I'm seeing? Can I believe that this truly is no secrets, new beginning, new cosmos? Okay, or am I just being played again? Tell me about the Ace of Wands, okay? There also was someone who was not clear on your side. Okay, King of Swords in reverse, where you were not getting the truth. That's why you're so forceful about getting things. And you may be the one tuning in here, trying to find out, okay, what is this person holding back from me? What are their secrets? Listening to readers, trying to secure, okay? Because you can see this magician has not completed the infinity cycle. So there is a desire to create and yet not having it actually come into fruition. And that's kind of where you guys are stuck here. Yeah. Okay. You're each working to your own weaknesses is what spirit is saying to me rather than working towards the complementary strength of the situation. But this is all in divine timing for you to address these issues and heal. Okay. So, what do you have coming up in the energy within this connection. Okay, commitment. I feel like this person is going to tell you um, about their fears. It's going to open your heart. It's going to be very healing for you. Okay, the healing light. Um, it's almost like just whether they even just send it via email or text, it's going to start healing you. But you're going to have to recognize, all right, that playing it safe is not going to work if you really want this person, if you really want this to come to fruition. 
because you're hitting that milestone. You're hitting that place in the relationship where things are going to start moving. And that's why all of this fear, all of this energy of loss is starting to come up for you. Okay, this is the expansive space of this divine counterpart relationship. Yeah, the inner child is coming out. Heart healing is being asked for. And it's important that you both stay open as you have been and keep things being addressed accordingly, okay? The lesson here for you for today Okay, solitude. You are in a state of, or situation of feeling alone, abandoned, isolated. I create the distance in my relationships, seeking validation of worth. So where are you pushing this person away? Where are they pushing you away? in order to validate the fears that you have. Okay, I feel like that's very important to address. All right, bottom of the deck here, we do have happiness, okay? But it won't come, I feel like, until you get through, all right, this rebirth. And so for some of you, this could take till actually till spring, till the sun starts shining again, until we get through this process that we're in right now. Um, but once you do, I can see a lot of expansive energy coming in. All right. So I hope that this uh, was helpful for your Tuesday bonus, guys. All right, let me know what you think about these little bonus readings uh, down in the comments box. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share because that is a generous gift to the channel. Much love, everyone. Bye.